I know that I'm overly enthusiastic like 99% of the time, but this video is actually one of the greatest videos that I've ever made. One of the biggest criticisms I get from you guys is, well, I suck in just about everything, but mostly cooking, mostly when it comes to like basic cooking skills. For this year, I really want to change that. Like I'm never going to be amazing or great at cooking, and I think that's one of the fun things about my channel is that not everything is perfect, but also I really don't want to be terrible. I really don't want to suck at like the most basic things. So for the first time ever, I actually booked a cooking class. So this is a Japanese cooking class, so I'm gonna learn how to make gyoza and also how to make ramen noodles. This is obviously something different, but I really hope you guys enjoy it. Tokyo. I do the cooking class in Tokyo with Japanese cooking. And if you're interested in, please come and join us. Mm. This tea has a brown rice. Oh really? Oh, so it's a green tea with brown rice. Very nice. We say genmai cha. Are we gonna do this little spiral mm. thing? Are we gonna do it? We made one. So is it pre-made? Pre -made oh. so we just <laughs> Which one is the easiest one, the ramen or the gyoza? Uh, I think ramen. Ramen is easier, easier yeah. Too. I like how you got your own aprons made, that looks so cool. I can't even do ramen or gyoza at the same time, <laughs> sounds even more difficult. Do we start chopping? Yes, let's start chopping. Chopping this one? I'll do, I'll, I'll do the easier one. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch you and try to do the same thing. Wait, do we eat, do you eat the green bits? Ah, we eat from here to here. From here to here? Yeah. Very thin? Ah, very thin, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm, very yeah. Nice. Mm. You have to think about the camera. <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually not too difficult because it's so Ew, tiny. Oh, yeah. yours looks a lot nicer. It's like you do this every day. <laughs> oh wow. I usually need. Now I'm just gonna ask you to do mine as well. <laughs> I'm gonna do a good job. Mm. I use this one. Do you have a time to cook at home? Um, because mm. I, I film so many food mm. videos. Mm, yeah. Most of the cooking that I do is oh. when I'm filming. So this is for the gyoza, gyoza right? Yes. Okay. Okay. What meat is that? It's a minced pork. Minced pork, pork, yeah. So now we're gonna, this is all gonna go inside the gyoza. Gyoza, yes. So I'm just gonna add the cabbage as well. This is very thinly sliced cabbage. I'm not doing a terrible job here. Sorry if I'm making a mess in oh, your no, kitchen. No, no. I do. <laughs> to you as well. So now we're gonna start the, um, the ramen noodles. Yes, we're going to make sima the pork. Vegetable oil. Oh, one tablespoon. Let's put the pot side down. Yeah. And then fill the pork until all the surface becomes brown color. Lower, Lower the temperature Lower. a little bit. <laughs> This is a gyoza pastry, pre-made gyoza pastry. Mm, you can buy them in any supermarket. In supermarket. Can I feel it? Yes. Oh, it's very light. It's so light, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what's happening in there, but it smells good. Turn over. Oh wow, that's going so quickly, isn't oh, it? Yes. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Okay. This is one. This is one. We need two. When I'm cooking at home, I never use measurements on anything. <laughs> I just guess. <laughs> Yes, you guess as well, <laughs> unless you're doing a class. So two tablespoons of sesame oil. So that, and then garlic oh. and ginger. So this is this is the ginger, right? Ginger paste, yeah. I love ginger. Mm. And then the chopped garlic. garlic. Salt and pepper. Oh, salt and pepper. Maybe two pinches. Two pinches. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Please mix all together. So now I mix it together. Mm, together this yeah. is I've never seen spatulas like this. Ah, this is a special spatula for gyoza. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can use for peanut butter. <laughs> Smells like gyoza already. Oh, nice. Sake, brown sugar, mm. soy sauce, mm. basically. 50 milliliters of soy sauce. Mm. 15? 50. 50. Oh, 50. That's a lot. <laughs> it's gonna make a lot of sound, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey. One tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. 
just <laughs> <laughs> just in there. Yeah, like that. Like, like that. that. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. for flavor. Oh yeah, for flavor. Yes. Just to buy enough so that it covers the pork, mm. right? Yeah. So this is the frying pan that we're going to use yeah. for the gyoza. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine, it's okay. Please put the pastry filling in the middle. Mm-hmm. And please put the water to make a smiley face. Smiley. A little smiley little face. smiley face. And then please close. And after making tacos, please start pinch. Uh, closing tacos on one side. To make gyoza. Little by little. Oh, wow. You make it look much <laughs> easier than it actually is, but look at that, it's perfect. Wow. Oh, for the first time, amazing! <laughs> for the first time. It's not great, but it's what we've done. So I'm gonna just put it here. Look at mine, yours versus mine. <laughs> Yours is so much better. So here's the gyozas that we made. I mean, some of these are like not perfect because they were done by me, but I'm pretty happy with this. I think for a first time, this is like a good effort. So we're gonna wait for this to simmer down completely, right? Yeah, for 14, 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Amazing, yeah. Very thin, Very okay. Thin. I'm gonna try not to ruin this because yeah. this is probably yeah. expensive. Ah, no, no, I'm so expensive. Don't worry, don't worry. Like that? Mm, perfect. How many do we need? It's all... Six. Yeah. This is my favorite part so far. <laughs> I always wanted to do this. Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so we make a small hole. Yeah. And the bottom of the egg. Yeah. And then we put the egg on the bottom. Yeah. And then we put the egg on the bottom. Yeah. And then sometimes the soup goes inside. So you can season a little bit. So we just pierce the egg, right? Yeah. If it breaks, you can get upset at me. <laughs> Is that good? So, yeah, I think Done? so. Mm, good. This is a Japanese style moto and mm. pesto. This is cool. Oh, it's made of wood. Roasted yeah. sesame seeds. So one. Like also that, right? <laughs> oh, it is very satisfying, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I'll do the whole jar. <laughs> is it like boiled pumpkin? Oh, is it cooked? Boiled. Cooked. Mm, cooked. Half cooked. Half cooked. Mm. Two minutes. It's using steamer. One teaspoon of soy sauce. Mm. So the sugar goes in. Just put all of it inside. All of and it? Then, then put it no. mix and toss. Lightly mix. Lightly mix. We're using chopsticks. Mm. Now it's done. So we're gonna make the stock for the, um, the ramen. For the ramen. Kelp, shiitake mushrooms, water for three hours. Mm, right? Three hours, yeah. yeah. And then now, we start to heat this pot. What's bonito flakes? Ah, tuna. Oh, tuna. Oh, we saw it in the little jar. Open the... How do you pronounce it? Ah, ah the katsubushi. Katsubushi? Mm, in Japanese. In yeah. Japanese. Oh, it's so soft. It's so light. So we use quite a lot. <laughs> Only two grams. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm gonna try to like. Oh, sorry, I'm just making a mess in your kitchen. <laughs> hey, that was. Oh, oh. Story of my life. Always a little extra. Oh, we're gonna remove the kelp. It's very slimy. It's getting slimy. Do we add the mushrooms to the to the noodles after? Yeah, let's use this mm. mushroom. After taking out the kelp and shiitake mushrooms, we will add bonito flakes. All of it. So much. <laughs> the bonito flakes will not be dissolved, so we have to take out after one minute. Mm -hmm. mm. This is the tasting part, my favorite. <laughs> this is the only thing that I'm good at. Oh my god, that's so good. good? Oh, that's so flavorful. Ah. Wait, I'm not gonna drop it. <laughs> 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 like that? Like that? Like that. Okay, yeah. You do the other one because <laughs> I don't want I don't wanna break it. The eggs will cook for nine minutes and then it's going to be like soft in the center, right? The seaweed is for decoration and these are just the toppings for uh, the toppings, for the ramen. Yeah. Uh, toppings and this is also top, uh, Oh it's also a topping. Topping and eating. You all see it. Yeah. Yeah. So this it's is the bean sprouts. Yeah. yeah. And then it goes into the boiling water. Oh, yeah. 
warm water. Oh, warm, not hot. Mm. Any type of egg noodles, right? Mm, yeah. The fresh one is there. Oh, it's it's mm, fresh. Fresh one, yeah. So fresh. So it goes really quickly, right? Mm, yeah. How long does it take to cook? Two minutes. Two minutes. Fifteen seconds. So we take eggs and then we cool it down quickly for one minute. Now you can cut as you like it, but I recommend like this diagonally in half. Please don't get upset at me if I ruin it. Like that. <laughs> it smells so good. I wish people could smell it through the camera. Oh yeah! Because yeah. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> Decoration is very important as well, yeah. right? <laughs> Maybe not today, no, with me. No, 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 no. <laughs> like that? Me. So this is the pumpkin mixture. Oh. Hey, that looks yeah. pretty actually. Yeah. What does it do, the potato starch? Uh, it connects gyoza each other and it's easy to flip one time. Oh. Please pour all of the water just to cover the bottom. Of um, that. Can I put it anywhere? Uh, anywhere, yeah. It's okay. Is that okay? Mm, yeah. Then we start to steam and stir fry. So this is a chicken um, soup powder. Yeah. So we got the noodles. So one here, one here. And now take them out. And now I pour them in a bowl. Oops. Oops. Sorry. There we go. How many spoons of soup? Usually six. Six. Mm. So now the only thing missing is really the decoration. <laughs> this is looking so good. It was actually not too difficult, weirdly. Ooh, that is looking ready already. Huh? It looks so good. Yeah. I'm gonna start with a little piece of the pork right here. Mm. How much? Eat a lot. Half. Eat half of this. Let's add some of this as well. Yeah. And a little bit of this, yeah. right? Spring onion, chopped spring onion. Chopped spring onion. So I'm gonna do the Naruto now. Just like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna slice the egg. Oh, I have to be quick. Ooh, that looks so good. So that goes right in the center. Wow. Would you look at that? We did this. This looks so good. The egg was perfectly cooked. Everything just looks so delicious. So I'm gonna move it to the table. Oh, do we do we not move it yet? Wow. That looks so good. This is this is the most beautiful dish that I've ever made. Okay. It's all connected. That's the potato starch. That's the potato starch makes it easier to flip, right? Yeah. So this goes right here. That is actually the most beautiful gears I've ever seen. So this is my final meal. This looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy about this. Thank you so much for teaching. <laughs> This looks incredible. We should probably start with the gyoza, but I went straight for the ramen. Mmm. That's very, very good. Mmm. So this is a gyoza. It's so crispy and thin, the outside is just the best. Thank you so much. And that was my first cooking class while I was in Tokyo. I've actually got something else planned, but if you guys did enjoy it and you want to watch more, please don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. As usual, I really appreciate it and it really does help out my channel. The biggest thank you to Yuka for giving me the class and teaching me some basics about Japanese food. I actually learned so much and I'm probably not going to be great at cooking still after this, but it's a step in the right direction. I'm going to leave Yuka's YouTube channel down below if you guys want to check it out. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye!